I'm Erica Hill. Thanks for joining us on the story. This morning's machete attack at the Louvre in Paris is being investigated as possible. An American student who is currently studying abroad caught up in the chaos of that attack this morning. About in a case that gained national attention, a former police officer accused of gunning down an unarmed man as he was running away. Michael Slager shot and killed 50-year-old Walter Scott, a motion to dismiss, claiming double jeopardy. Joining me Super Bowl Sunday, the New England Patriots, of course, squaring off against the Atlanta Falcons. And there are several storylines that we are following. Andy Scholes is on the story with us live from Houston. So, Andy, what's the latest? So many good nuggets coming out of this one. The First Lady's libel lawsuit against a British tabloid has been thrown out. Melania Trump filed that defamation. We look at this and it was thrown out because of jurisdiction, is that right? That's right. Jurisdiction is not the sexiest topic in the law, but it, believe it or not, it is a critical threshold issue that must be... Where the, where the other person that you're filing against does business? Or so how do you determine oh, that? Oh, the tangled web of civil procedure. As a <laughs> general rule, uh, you'd be sued. You just can't you just be can't sued do it in here. Maryland, right. right, exactly. And That's there what that is means. still this case ongoing in London, correct? That's right. And jurisdiction is going to be easier there in a case where the court. Harpley, um, that suit separately is allowed to move forward. As long as there's, yes, that, that suit, so that jurisdiction is not an issue. So in that case, because she is working with the lawyer who represented Hulk Hogan, correct, against Gawker and got him that $115 million settlement, yes, yes. one would think that you do look into these things ahead of time, as you pointed out, because you don't want to have it thrown out. So was it surprising at all to you that it was a jurisdictional issue? This was a close call, and okay. I'll tell you exactly why. When it comes to jurisdiction with websites, each case is sort of... Explaining it to us, putting it in English. As opposed to the legally. If only I could have explained it in law school <laughs> on my exam. This topic I wasn't so good at. Oh, if only. Well, you learned your lesson after I did. that, didn't you? A hard lesson. Excellent, Danny. Thank you. Uh, HLN's new series, How It Really Happened with Hill Harper, takes a look, as you know, at the most notorious crimes, mysteries, and trials. Tonight, the spotlight is on the trial of the century, the show examining the new theories still emerging today about O.J. Simpson and the murders of his ex wife and her friend. Atlanta is getting a lot of attention for a simple sign the manager put up on the beer fridge letting customers know he is no longer selling Sam Adams, which is, of course, a Boston staple. That move came in reaction to a column in the Boston New England. Of course, the Atlanta Falcons take on the New England Patriots this Sunday in the Super Bowl. Station manager Viral Chadwa plastered this sign up where you would normally find the Sam Adams. Station manager Viral Chadwa joins me now. Uh, great to have you with us. So Thank you for having you put me. This, you put this sign up, having a lot of fun with it, obviously. We see you've got a little rally going on there, yeah. a little rise up yeah. action at the gas station. What have people been saying about that sign? <laughs> Ivanka Trump's fashion line, the department store says it won't purchase products from the First Daughters brand this fall. I'm Erica Hill. Enjoy the Super Bowl this weekend. Forensic Files is next on HLN. I'll see you right back here on Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Have a great weekend.